Speaking of Mini, it has quite a long-standing heritage. How have you incorporated that history into the activation today? Mini absolutely love talking about their British past, where they've come from, all about their heritage. So on the stand today, we've got two lovely classics that everyone gets to enjoy. We've got the lovely Izzy and the amazing rally car from the Monte Carlo race that they won many, many years ago. But it's here on the stand today, and we're very lucky to have that. And it's just something that people love to see. Everyone knows that's the classic Mini, and they're very excited. Speaking of history, you've got a timeline on the front of the stand there where you can see the actual original Minis, and they're so brilliant. But there's also a very different kind of feel today. It's very innovative. Um, how have you incorporated that sense of innovation and balanced it with that heritage? I think for Mini now, their fo future focus is all about digital, electric, being forward focused. And what we've been able to do this year is really give each product their own space, their own place to kind of develop and show off. So, for example, in the Ace space, it's all about being electric. It's all about being sleek cool, the new model in town, the one that everyone wants to talk about versus then in Cooper's Court where we get the classic and the new and really showcase where that has come from versus then the Countryman and all of its adventures and all of the opportunities that come with being in such a bigger car versus a classic mini. Something I've enjoyed today is watching people get into their cars and pretend to test drive them. They almost all get in there and they put two hands on the steering wheel. I like to say you can't drive an advertisement, so actually getting into that vehicle is very unique. Definitely, and everyone loves it. Everyone's a little bit annoyed that we can't get into the concerts, but you know, yeah. we need to keep them looking neat and tidy. But yeah, it's so great to be able to get in, into the products, hands on, especially with the pro this new product family that they have. This is the first time that they've all kind of been together in one space on such a big scale. And it's so nice for everyone to kind of go from what's a little run around versus the middle versus what's available on, on a larger scale. And they can kind of really see where they fit themselves into the mini brand and vice versa and how mini can be a part of everyone's life, whether it's city living, country living, all of the above. It's a very colorful, playful activation. How have you incorporated that sense of fun into the experience today. Just being bright and bold and out there with everything that they want to do. They want to be here with a bang and really showcase that they're not afraid to be the fun young kids on the block and kind of really stand out versus the other stands that are here. So on the stand, we have really incorporated a lot of fun with a photo booth, a climbing wall. We've got not churros here giving away um, some ice creams and churros. We've got a driver's lounge. We've just got lots of little fun little touches. We've got lots of little photo opportunities with our fun little smiley face. And then up and about the stand, there's just all these quirky little things that as you walk around, you notice something new and it's nice and exciting for everyone as they move through the space. Speaking of fun and technology, mixed reality is one of the biggest trends in marketing right now. How have you incorporated that into the brand activation today? Driving a real car in a Goodwood field is insane in itself. But then having a headset on where you're driving around and what you see is landmarks of London and the whole UK. So you've got Big Ben and et cetera. And it's such a different experience versus what you actually are in. So it's great to see. And it's great to see that people are taking on the challenge of doing it. And that's what Mini's about as well, is pushing people to explore new things and see what else is out there. And, that is a great experience to do that. I really like that because you have the technology, but it's not just about the tech, is it? It's about using that tech to tell new stories in new ways. It's a great way to drive the car because you're driving it slowly, obviously. Health and safety will be proud. But it's a great way to experience a car that, like no other because you're still driving, but you can't actually see what you're driving through. It's, it's wild. On that note, I'm going to go and test drive a Mini in mixed reality. Thank you, Blythe. It's been a pleasure catching up with you.